What up, everybody? This is your boy, Dr. Sorella, teaching you about ACL injuries. Sadly, my boy, Lamar Miller, on my fantasy football team, had to be erased because he was eliminated in preseason games. We'll talk about how impact to sport injuries on preseason games in my opinion is complete garbage and meaningless and it should be reevaluated by the NFL but let's dive in on his injury let's go to the clip Lamar Miller is out to take a look at that pro bowler last year Lamar Miller for the Texans back up for the season opener against the Giants first down from the 31 and not much there at all ball is out down, it appears. He was off to a great start again tonight. That was Malik Collins. It looked like the, there's 96 right to the left of your screen. You can see. All right, so I slowed it down. So what you can see is Malik Collins in 96. Looks like stumbling into our player, Lamar Miller, 26. Bending the knee in a weird, odd angle, inward and out, causing enough steers strain on the ligaments later ruled as a ACL injury in fact an ACL tear that would eliminate him from the whole season this is ridiculous this is why I hate preseason games because you put high-end athletes at risk for what no apparent reason for a stupid scrimmage game it makes no sense but let's talk about ACL injuries now after all the aftermath, look at this photo. It just shows a dejected Lamar Miller. I feel really bad. A lot of people putting hands on him, sympathizing. But yes, he understands the career could be over. The season is over. I feel really bad. Again, once again, ACL injury with complete tear. Let's dive in, talk about it, and figure out what really happened. So the ACL is called an anterior cruciate ligament. Anterior meaning in front of. Cruciate means cross-shaped. So it's a cross-shaped front ligament. And what it basically does is it connects to the tibia bone, but it prevents the tibia from moving forward while your femur bone is backwards. So it's a stability ligament. Below is a clip by Nucleus Medical Media. I give them a shout out because they make excellent videos for your understanding. I cut and diced our necessary points, but check them out on YouTube. Great images. Sorry for the sample use, the but yes, I'm ligament, stealing their video to one of the help you learn, uh, and the I don't have video the production ACL time to make such quality videos. So knee. enjoy. A torn ACL may occur if your knee joint over-rotates or if you receive a direct blow to the front of your knee. If your ACL tears through completely, your doctor may recommend surgery to repair it. During this arthroscopic procedure, your surgeon will make a few incisions around your knee, through which he or she will insert surgical instruments, including a camera. The camera will transmit images to a TV monitor, which the surgeon will view during the procedure. First, your surgeon will remove the remaining portions of your torn ACL from your knee. Then your surgeon will remove part of your patellar tendon to use as the graft or obtain donor tissue. Your surgeon will create attachment points for the graft by drilling a small tunnel in the end of your tibia, then another at the end of your femur. Your surgeon will place one end of the patellar tendon graft in the tibial tunnel. Then he or she will pull the graft up through the knee joint and into the femoral tunnel to create a new ACL tendon. Finally, your surgeon will place small screws in the tunnels at either end of the new ACL to hold it in place. Over the next six to eight weeks, bone growth will fill in these tunnels, further stabilizing the graft. At the end of the procedure, your doctor will remove the instruments and close the incisions. This procedure typically lasts two to two and a half hours. Again, just making this video, we have another story that came out about five days ago about preseason injuries impacting the Green Bay Packers. They lost not one, but almost three uh, teammates within one game. Not even in the full game, but almost 
just the first half of the game. So these players were Curtis Bolton, their rookie linebacker, out with a potential right knee injury. Hopefully not an ACL injury. Uh, Rashawn Gary, another prospect, high-rated linebacker, again with potential head injury, concussion-based, to be determined. And then St. Brown uh, with a high ankle sprain, not out for a short time, but for a six-week period. These preseason injuries are ridiculous. The NFL needs to step up, and I personally, I feel it's a ploy to make some more money, obviously. Exploit these guys as much as you can to get pre-sell, uh, preseason tickets, even though they're technically warming up and learning the playbook. But at the end of the day, these are million-dollar athletes that are getting impacted. And do you, as a owner, want to sacrifice, say, a $20 million prospect or a brand-new rookie just to scramble last minute to make a new roster? It's just insane. It needs to be fixed. Uh, in, fra in fact, I... I see a lot of players or actual teammates that are now holding starters from these preseason games as an attempt to uh, thwart or uh, hope to calm down the injuries before their first initial game. What's your opinion on it? Uh, comment below. Subscribe if you guys enjoy the content. Give me a holler. Thanks. This is Dr. Sorella, your boy, teaching you about ACL injuries. More to come.